Do strut bars really work? Let's talk about it. Let's get some food. All right, got my food. Let's have a seat. All right, let's talk strut bars. So, strut bars are a very popular mod. Relatively inexpensive. It dresses up the engine bay makes the car a little bit nicer but there's a lot of folks who tend to believe that um, strut bars are snake oil and by snake oil what I mean is uh, it, it promises to add some aspect of performance to the vehicle but uh, depending on the design really doesn't at least that's in theory, right? Um, and I sort of buy into that. Let me explain. So a factory strut bar, one that comes on the vehicle. Okay, buddy. <laughs> uh, one that comes on the vehicle, if you notice the design, try and post a picture up in the video if I find one, doesn't have any hinges on it. Or if it has any hinges, it only has one hinge. A lot of aftermarket strut bars will have uh, a couple of hinges on them. And a lot of times might be used from lighter materials like aluminum, which doesn't sound bad. Uh, you think aluminum, okay, it's lighter, um, probably better to keep the weight down and uh, make sure you're not adding any unnecessary weight. But the problem with that is, uh, Aluminum, if it's not thick enough, can have too much flux in it, which defeats the whole purpose of putting a strut bar to begin with. So, all in all, if you have a strut bar with a couple of hinges that's made out of aluminum, it's probably not going to be making that big a difference in chassis rigidity. Now, people still buy them. People still add them to their car because they look good. They're a nice dress up piece. Maybe it adds rigidity, maybe it doesn't. But I'm going to be adding a strut bar. Not for chassis rigidity, but because I have other plans for use of the strut bar in the future, which I'm not going to give away today, that you're just going to have to wait and see. I've got a Jay's Racing front tower strut bar and a rear strut bar from Jay's as well that is not here yet. We're gonna be putting the front one in today. We're gonna to go see Dr. Drew. He's gonna do an oil change on my car, do a couple of other maintenance things as well, so I'm ready for my next track day. But uh, he'll also throw on the strut bar. We'll take a look at it. We'll give you guys a shot of it before we put it in and afterwards so you see what that looks like. Okay, there it is. Uh, one of the end links is in there. The other side is not, so it makes it easier to install. As you can see there, the other end link is in here. But uh, what I want to show you is the construction of this piece. I was telling you some strut bars have two flex points. This only has one. And by flex point, what I'm referring to is the joint that's right here. So this connects to the strut, right on top of the strut, uses the uh, screws. Uh, you get one joint here, uh, just mainly for ease of insulation. Uh, goes, connects to the other side, pop this down, pop this bar down, 
screw goes into the other mount and, and you're good to go. So really simple to install. Um, this is a better design than some of the other strut bars I've seen on the market. Uh, it's a nice gold color so it does dress up the engine bay. It should definitely look good in the engine bay but again that is not the purpose of me installing the strut bar. Um, although it might help, we'll see. I'll definitely give you guys some feedback based on that, but let's take this to Dr. Drew, have him install it, and uh, we'll take a look afterwards. We are back home after the install of the Jay's Racing Front Tower Bar for the FK8 Civic Type R. Dr. Drew did a great job once again putting it in, albeit it is a pretty easy item to install, which is why so much of us love that. Uh, but let's take a look. On the drive home, I didn't really feel that much of a difference in the drive, albeit I was stuck in traffic, so there wasn't really a lot of stress going through the strut bar anyways. I have another track day coming up this weekend, so we'll see if it does make an appreciable difference. There is a bigger reason why I got that front strut tower bar, which I'm still not gonna reveal to you guys. It's gonna be one of my big surprises this year, so you'll have to stay tuned and wait. Uh, that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. I hope it was informative for you. And as always, stay hungry, stay fast, stay tuned. I'm Michael Baxi and I'm out. Yeah.